Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese dramaland in the past week. We finally got some movement. First, on the 7th, a drama pretty much airdropped. It announced one day prior to its airing, the Zhongwu Yangguang Daylight Entertainment's Xian Wei Da Yuan Bright Future. The 2022 kind of Mingning Town drama. They didn't manage to hold it until next year, so it came out in December. It airs on CCTV, China Central Television 1, the Channel 1, which is like the hottest and most expensive ad spot for anything, I think, in the entirety of China. It is kind of the drama king uh, position for anything that goes on satellite television in China. Also, a couple of provincial satellite television stations plus Tencent. And it's being aired every day. I'll see when is the good time to talk about the drama because it's only 24 episodes. It's a very realism talking about not so long ago, like five to seven years ago's time setting of a small town's economy development and its new leaders coming into the place trying to change what's been going on in that place, that type of story. And it features pretty much Zhong Wu Yangguang's entirety of their reservoir of actors, actresses, extras. Even the most extra extras in this drama so far I've seen are people that you've seen in other dramas. And it's all familiar faces from everything. Zhong Wu has done before. Wu Ge, Liu Tao, okay, Nirvana people. But apart from that, a lot of other Nirvana people are gonna show up in this drama. Then you also have Huang Lei, Wu Yue, Zhang Xingcheng, Wang Xiao, just name it. It's a game of how many familiar faces can we see <laughs> when you start watching this drama. Then on the 10th, we've got two things that are gonna go live, which would be actually the day when this video first comes out. First is a contemporary drama uh, that um, I probably will not go and check out, but I just want to let you know that it exists in case you're interested. It's called Mo Bai, English title Double Love on Drama List, and it's a contemporary romantic drama led by Zhang Xueying and Bi Wenjun. It is a story about a acting academy school, <laughs> two students there. The girl is a younger student in comparison to the boy, the boy is like the last year acting academy student but who happens to be a secret genius gamer who has the first position of a computer game <laughs> of a server. All those elements of acting academy of good looking young people right, who are aspire to be actors and actresses in today's environment <laughs> plus gaming smells like a really dangerous mixture of stuff that may actually anger a lot of different <laughs> types of fandoms. Let's see how well this drama is gonna do. It's gonna air on iQiyi, also features Guo Pingchao and Dai Si. So the next thing that's gonna happen on the 10th is gonna happen on Bilibili and it's the animation version of Three Body Problem. We've talked about this a couple of weeks ago when they first announced it was gonna go live I think on December the 3rd, but because of what happened, the uh, morning period, so the airing of that thing got delayed. Now it's gonna come out tomorrow or as this video goes out. Hopefully it's a good animation version. During this week they've started promoting this, releasing its theme song that's sung by Deng Ziqi, a very well-known singer in China. It's a really interesting song. I would highly recommend you go and seek it out. You know, just typing three body problem animation title or theme song. You're gonna find it. Not only is the arrangement and the music is quite intriguing, the lyrics, I have to say, is really give that to the animation and we are likely to see the drama version next year actually on CCTV. Quite surprisingly this week we've actually found out that China Central Television have released a list of dramas that are basically theirs that they're gonna air next year which included the three body problem. Let's see when a drama version airs which one would have the better music and songs and whatever. Usually actually animations do better at these things. So these are the two things that's gonna air on the 10th. On the 12th we also have two things that are scheduled and are likely to go live. First is there is a drama that's gonna air on both Tencent and iQiyi and haven't heard about this project before but I'm really intrigued. It is called Forensic JD. English title that is. Chinese title is Nu Fa Yi JD. And the greatest thing about that is it's a Hong Kong 
drama that's gonna be in Cantonese, I think. Whether they're gonna dub it with Mandarin, I'm not sure, but it's led by Cai Zhuoyan and Zhong Xintong. Twins. If you're old enough and you care about Asian entertainment for the last two decades, you know who they are. It's just so great to see them coming back together and making a drama and leading it together. Twins coming back, you know, that in itself is a milestone of entertainment industry history. So when that drama airs, I'll definitely on the same day, there is a <laughs> much lighter weight and definitely more oriented towards younger audiences drama. Chu Tsi Ai Ni, English title First Love. Yeah, pretty much that's the thing. It is a university campus love story led by Tian Xiwei and Wang Xingyue. Pretty nice for Tian Xiwei, the actress, because her current quite popular Qing Qing Ri Chang New Life Begins drama literally just finished airing like a couple of hours ago and then immediately <laughs> she's gonna show up in another drama that's also produced by Aichi next week. I won't expect it to perform in any way close to the uh, success of New Life Begins, but we shall see if uh, I get <laughs> in my face. Then let's talk about a couple of other dramas at different stages of production during this week. First, dramas that have started shooting. In no particular order, we have a period drama that has just started shooting and already paparazzi are crazy at leaking it. <laughs> On set photos, Shen Yin. It is a period fantasy drama that's led by Wang Anyu and Zhao Lu Si, another xianxia. With the leaked photos, okay, it's looking not too bad, but then they definitely could have improved on Wang Anyu's styling as a male lead. At least with the photos that have come out, the wig really isn't the best that they can do for him. He has a very elongated, like a long face, a very typical male long face. With that kind of face, right, the hair is really important. Think about Wang Hedi. Think about a couple of other actors who have a very... When the wig is wrong, disaster. When the wig is right, oh my god. So right now, his wig is sitting between great and terrible. Okay, it's not like so bad that you can't watch it, but oh, there's definitely room for improvement. All I can say is the stylist is not very talented. Then there is also a period drama that has just started shooting. Their official account on Weibo has already been set up but they haven't started posting, but it does not matter because they already started shooting and people already caught them shooting on set and there's already leaked photos. This is the period drama called Yun Zhi Yu. English title, My Journey to You. That doesn't sound relevant at all on <laughs> the two titles. And it's gonna be led by... It's already led by, okay, they're shooting. Yu Shuxing and Zhang Linhe. <laughs> So finally, Xiao Lanhua and uh, Chang Heng Xianjun are gonna get their own drama. So if you are one of the shippers of Fairy and Devils, that couple that didn't work, although they are the original couple, they did love each other, but uh, hey, time was wrong. They couldn't end up together. This time, they are the official couple. They're the leading couple, so they're gonna get together. <laughs> really curious to see now Yu Shuxing and Zhang Linhe are being the central couple, how that's gonna work out. Whether the chemistry is gonna work as well as, you know, Tang Wen Jie, hey hey hey. Just what audience's melon eating angle of things makes me very excited. Then there's another drama that has just started shooting. They also haven't officially started promoting, but I guess because of a whole week's silence of entertainment, the paparazzis are too hungry. <laughs> Neither KPI at the end of the year, so they all just start working very hard. There is a Yoku production that's a short drama, that's a mystery thriller drama, exciting. Only 10 episodes have started making and they would actually finish shooting by the end of January. That's their schedule. So they're already doing it. It's just not being announced yet. And looking at the uh, casting, quite interesting. The drama is gonna be called Xingsheng, English title Regeneration. And their poster is this huge ocean foam bubble made up question mark on the surface of the water, so quite good conceptual poster immediately gives you the idea about what this may be. Led by Jing Boran and Zhou Yiran. For the actor Jing Boran, I would point out he really needs a drama now because he's been doing a couple of things that just didn't take flight. Like the drama he did with Song Weilong that is unlikely to show up 
even like ever. And then the one that he led with Liu Yifei. <laughs> Who knows when that drama is gonna come out or never. So he's got so many things he did but hasn't seen daylight and he's almost on the brink of getting forgotten by entertainment business because he really hasn't done anything significant for a long time. Let's see if this one is gonna change the game for him. Then finally to wrap up today's video, <laughs> There's a really interesting thing happening, uh, which is the musical version of Lie Zui Tu Jian Under the Skin is gonna show up next year in theater in China. Early 2023, haven't announced exactly one, and they've just recently announced the casting list of all the musical actors <laughs> for the show. 79 names, a huge list. Now, given that I am not familiar with what's going on in the musical industry in China, I have no idea who those people are, but cool thing for this company to extend that IP to musical stages. All the best luck, and I hope it's a good one. And I so look forward to if they actually do a premiere of this, they would invite the actors of the drama version to go. We shall see if that happens. So that should be the end of this week's news on dramas, drama land stuff. I have just released a very hard working result edit on my second channel. You can just head over to Avenue Extra or just click here. It is my hard labor work of smashing together over 140 episodes of content <laughs> edited it down to 2 minutes and 50 seconds of all the fighting sequences of the four men of 2022 in Chinese period drama land who have managed to fight pretty nicely on screen. This is the first time I actually sat down and clocked my editing time. So every time I turn on Final Cut, I clock it. And then when I stop, I clock it. For this particular edit, not counting all the hours I've actually gone through before that to watch the drama and actually sort out the footages, like actually note down at which episode of which dramas, which moment might be a useful shot for me to edit, that took can't even remember how many hours, it's insane. So just the editing part took me 27 solid hours for 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Only because of love, you know, like no amount of money people want to pay me would actually motivate me to do this type of job. <laughs> so that would be the end of this video. Thank you for watching OmniOx. Please take care. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.